Hey Collective, what's going on guys? I hope everyone's doing great today. Hey ladies, say hi. Say hi Collective. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's so warm. She's been laying here beside me. She's so sweet. Alright guys, I hope everybody's doing great today. We're doing great. Yeah, we're doing good. I'm so happy to have all of you here with us. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all my subscribers. And I hope that you will like and share and subscribe to my channel. And that you will go ahead and hit that like button whenever you come on in. It's just a free energy exchange to show me some love. It would be very much appreciated. Okay, guys? I thank you, too. Let me tell you that. <laughs> They're all covered up so she can take her little nap while I give you guys a read. Alright, let's tap in, guys. Let's see what's going on today for the collective. What's going on, Spirit? What does my collective need to know today? We've got a lot of planets out here. So we got Jupiter. And we got the south node, so dealing with some karma. And we've got Uranus. Okay. So the granting of blessings, good fortune, growth and expansion, being positive about something, learning or teaching something is Jupiter. Uh, the south node is something will not be happening or will not be going on. There's anxiety about it. Could be some trouble going on in your life. Karma balancing out. Uh, something you need to remember or reconsider and now may not be the time to do something. Um, then Uranus is an unusual example of something. A different way of looking at it. An unexpected change has occurred. You stir up the situation by using something. Or some shit stir in the pot, so to speak. Um, be open to new ideas about whatever you're experiencing right now. And then invent a new way to do something. Okay. Okay, well, that's good, because on the bottom of the deck right here, we've got the North Node. So, you know, so maybe some karma is being balanced out, because the North Node is, that's a good thing. So, there will be success from whatever this is. You're going to benefit from whatever you're going through. So, if you're going through some karmic lessons right now, you're going to benefit from that. And Jupiter is going to bring in, you know, blessings from that and growth and expansion. So, maybe you've had it you know, some soul growth definitely that you're going through right now if you're balancing out this past life soul karmic energy, okay? And stepping from the south node energy into the north node energy. So going from karma into dharma, okay? So you need to have faith. Don't worry about it. And now is the time to do something. So, you know, maybe something was going on that before it just wasn't the time, but now you know, things are going to start coming in to where it can be the time for something to be ushered in. And we've got the third house underneath this. So, let's see here. The third house is Gemini, and that's communication. So, and that's something to do with your ideas. Uh, so, something that you're trying to create. Maybe, you know, uh, you're a speaker, or, you know, maybe it's something to do with communication. Uh, Short-term thinking and Trips could be, you know, maybe you're wanting to go somewhere. Maybe you're wanting to make a trip and think about who you want around you, okay, or what you want around you at this time. And that's by making the right connections. So there's an idea in question here that you're, you know, that you may be considering is this a good idea to, you know, to go on a trip or something. And to be, you know, maybe like in a connection with someone or something. And it's going to get your ideas going. Okay. So, that's good. Right. 
see what else. Pluto. We've got a lot of planets out here right now. Uh, so Pluto is the need for controlling something. It's an, it's an obsession that you have with something. So maybe it's a passion. Could be in a power struggle with someone right now. Um, something could be resurrected. Like maybe something had, you know, you'd kind of gone dormant in something and your passion had fizzled out, but that's going to reignite and resurrect and you're going to get to the heart of the matter. It's like a do or die situation. It's something that you feel like you must do. And Pluto is going to help usher in this, this energy here. Okay. So maybe the time just wasn't right before, but now Spirit is saying that the time is right to maybe try something again. And it has to do with possibly something, you know, on a career path here with the 10th house. The 10th house is Capricorn and that's fellowship. Okay. And it's ruled by Saturn. Um, this is your destiny. So your north node is walking into your life purpose and your destiny. So, you know, maybe you're going to be speaking and doing something like that with communication when you are walking into your destiny. And, you know, this trip could be maybe you're traveling and you're going to be speaking because it's about where you're going and it's about your career. Um, and it's about, you know, being responsible. So you've got more responsibilities in this success that's coming in. Uh, you can become a person of power and status and you're going to have to be responsible with this new power that's coming in. But what's beautiful about this is your dreams are like idealizing and you're getting ready to be a part of something overwhelming and, and sounds like very big and lucrative. Um, spirituality to ultimately experience. So, you know, this could be something to do with your spiritual walk. Trusting your own psychic knowledge of whatever this is. Trust your intuition. Maybe, you know, you are like me and you have a platform on YouTube or something or TikTok or, you know, Instagram or, you know, a social media platform and you've been wanting to put yourself out there and you're not. Well, maybe spirit is telling you now it's time to do something like that to help raise the vibration up on this earth plane and step into your light work and capabilities and your gifts right and trust your psychic knowledge trust in yourself and believe in your spiritual beliefs and this upgrade that you're definitely going through because you are coming out of you know some karmic energy straight into your north node and that's walking straight into your life purpose resulting from the indecision of or about something and this is pisces here so pisces is is intuition and it's also uh you know, it can be privacy or something. So maybe you've kind of kept yourself hidden. Maybe it's now it's time to put yourself out there. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. The 12th house here. Um, and that's wild because I was just looking at my will over here in Pisces is privacy in the 12th house. And that's what's right here. Goodness. Come through spirit. And that is hidden tendencies here. So, yeah, maybe you've kept yourself hidden, but it's time to make yourself known, okay? Have faith. This is about your faith that was possibly being tested. Um, could have something to do with large institutions or overwhelming events. Um, seeking oneness with all there is. Philanthropy and keep your involvement hidden. So, you know, maybe don't share, you know, your next moves. So that way, you know, it can't be sabotaged, right? So, yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. Okay, I'm going to leave that on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So let me put these up here. I'm going to go a little further into this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this just a little bit further. This is good energy, guys. Okay. Interested to see what's coming in for the collective. This is fantastic. Alright. Yeah. Alright, spirit. Let's clarify Jupiter. 
What are these blessings and good fortune and growth and expansion? You're going to be really positive about this. You could be learning and teaching something new. Yeah, the wheel is turning in your favor. And, you know, you're getting ready to have some choices of some new paths and some new decisions to make. You could even travel abroad. Um forward planning and moving forward your self-confidence is is you know is rising this is aries energy um the answer is yes you know and this is the throat chakra so right back to communication and its overall energy is foresight so um definitely could be traveling could be a foreign land um Self-belief and freedom, success, happy. You're going to be happy with the choices and outcomes that, you know, this hard work that you've been putting in are paying off. Okay. So, good job, guys. And, you know, you've got the will of fortune here. I ride the waves of life, you know. And that's, that's Jupiter energy again. And I'm clarifying Jupiter here. I mean... Wow, guys, that's amazing. Come through, Spirit. This is good luck and destiny. Change is occurring and it's karma. So it's being balanced out. Soulmates, uh, decisive moments, cycles of life, fate, fortune can be upheaval and chance, you know. So maybe this new forward movement could create a little upheaval. But, you know, it, you're, you're doing what you're divinely guided to do. Spirit is guiding you and you're listening to this guidance. And it seems like you're moving forward with this decision. And that's a good thing. That's what Spirit wants you to do. So let's clarify the South Node. What's this karma right here? What's this trouble and anxiety? Uh, something that needed to be reconsidered and remembered. Okay. So, you had to walk away from something, and it could have had to do with your past. Could have been, you know, conflict that was going on that you've had to walk away from, which could be like your family. Uh, could, you know, could be something that, you know, uh, this karma could even be past life energy with the soulmate relationship that's balancing out because uh, the, uh, let's see, where did I read that? On the Wheel of Fortune, that's also, you know, a karmic partner could be out of your life now to where now that this person is no longer in your life, you've balanced this karma out and you've moved into your north node and they could have been affecting what you were wanting to do with your life path, with your business, with whatever you're trying to create and that obstacle and all that conflict and anything that was coming against you to be able to usher that in, it's, you know, it's being removed. So this is what you've overcome. Um, so it's conflict, fighting, arguments, roads, um, disagreements and struggle. You were dealing with opposition and a lot of battles and aggression, possibly someone's temper. You had clashing personalities and egos with people here. Uh, strikes and chaos. There was unruliness. There was a lot of defensiveness and territorial, you know, territorial behavior going on. It's a lot of conflict and chaos. And that's Leo energy. So, you know, re returning to one's roots in conflict. So, returning to one's roots, that's the Six of Cups here. And that's Scorpio energy. So, that is children, your childhood memories, past influences, yearning, homesickness, nostalgia, reunions, playfulness, youthfulness, innocence, creativity, kindness, goodwill, and simplicity. So, you know, uh, you could, you know, I think that you're definitely balancing out past life karma here with not only family, um, but with, with a karmic partner here possibly as well. <clears throat> What's Uranus? An usual example different way of looking at things, unexpected changes, inventing new ways to do things, being open to ideas, stir up the situation. What is this spirit? Oh, God. Where did it go? Oh, it's all the way over there. Hold on. 
the star. You're a star. You're a star being. You're an earth angel. So, yeah. Okay. And we got the four of pentacles in reverse. So, it's shedding the old. Letting go of people, possessions, issues, and or possessions or issues, and it's Capricorn energy, and this is also generosity here, and this again is the throat chakra. So you're like reinventing yourself. You, I'm telling you, you've gone through a soul growth here, and you've stepped into this beautiful star being, Earth Angel energy here. You're a star, and you know you're gonna. I think you're going to be speaking publicly, possibly. This is Aquarius energy, and that's the crown chakra. Um, the universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. So, you know, you're, you're, you're getting ready to experience an unexpected change. Your hopes and your inspirations, your creativity are bringing in unusual examples of something, a different way of looking at things. Uh, you're calm and content. You've had a lot of renewal and soul growth. Your spirituality is heightened and you've, you've had a level up. You've been healing. You're focusing more on positivity instead of negativity. Uh, you're just full of serenity and faith and healing energy. You've, you've been rejuvenating yourself. You know, you've been literally reinventing yourself okay that's beautiful good job collective i'm so proud of it you guys good job so the north node <clears throat> we got there will be success from isolation so we've got the eight of swords here this is gemini energy and this is a solar plexus so maybe you felt powerless okay you were feeling trapped and restricted kind of like backed into a corner like your hands were tied victimized paralyzed by fear or terror but you know we're clarifying the north node so maybe you're scared to walk into your purpose here it's causing anxiety you're feeling pressure and hopeless and helpless and powerless you have felt silenced because we have been talking about quite a bit of communication that's here so maybe you really need to speak your truth about some things where you've been silenced and it's created a crisis in your life, which has put you into a state of isolation. But, you know, there will be success from where you did go into this isolation because, you know, you needed to rest and you needed to transmute some energy out. So this is Jupiter again right here. And then this is Libra energy. And then this is Jupiter as well. So going into this solitude mode here doing this inner reflection you had to rest you know you needed to go inside you've been doing some inner healing work and uh yeah look at this you know you've had justice here with this hermit energy so you're balancing out the scales of your existence you're balancing out your life you needed to do some inner healing work and you've been manifesting new financial opportunities to come in and new love opportunities and this new love partner that's going to come in they're going to be truthful you know they're going to be honest we've got a lot of libra energy right here and uh this is speaking your truth as well but i mean this is someone that you can trust okay think of archangel michael when you think of this king of swords here so maybe he's been helping protect you and and get you through this this time of inner healing work that you've had to go in trying to heal from the south node karmic past life you know person that's been in your life or family you know you take both you take it how it resonates <clears throat> but this four of swords is fear anxiety stress you've been feeling overwhelmed and like mentally overloaded you were needing solitude so that you could have some relaxation and rest. You needed that R&R &R to rejuvenate and restore your being and restore yourself. And it gave you, you know, the much needed peace and quiet that you were needing. You created your beautiful sanctuary in your home to where you can do this or you found a place to where you can meditate and do this. And it's regrouping or regrouping and recuperating. So that's awesome and you know you're going to be very successful and benefit from doing that 
and you know now is the time to work in these things don't worry about it have faith you know have faith in the universe and your guides and know that everything's going to be okay so the third house here we got the queen of swords which is aquarius energy here okay and this is your throat chakra again so it's speaking your truth and then the third house here um it is communication and it's ruled by gemini so and mercury so genius the queen of swords is honest and faithful and the queen of swords is a healer you know so maybe you're a healer maybe you know that's part of your light work that you do as an earth angel maybe you're a healer maybe you're a reiki master you know maybe you're a motivational speaker maybe you know you're a tarot reader maybe you do things like this you know um but the queen of swords is very honest and truthful and she she is strong she is definitely battle worn and battle ready she's been through so much and she's healed so much and she has gone through transformation after transformation she's very protective and independent she's communicative you know she's she speaks her truth and she's not scared to do so she'll stand up for herself and for others um she's witty she's funny she's fair she's very you know good at giving you constructive criticism uh she's strong and quirky she's real she's realistic objective and she's very discerning so you know this is going to help get your ideas going any ideas that you've had in question they're going to start moving ahead short-term thinking and trips are on the horizon and you're going to start cutting out who or what you want around you because if it's not serving your higher self or the highest good for all you're not you're going to cut that out of your life she's going to pull that sword out and you're going to be chopped right out so and by making the right connections you're going to be able to do that and you're going to start walking away from things that no longer serve you come through spirit so you know and that's the solar plexus too so that's your power source you know you're going to have power in that by doing so and that's Pisces energy. It's moving on. <clears throat> and some people, you know, it's abandonment and abandoning plans, walking away and letting go. Maybe you're traveling away and people are going to think that you're abandoning them. But, you know, that's not, that may not be the case. You know, it's time to start focusing on self instead of everyone else so that you can help and be of service because you can't be of service if you're, operating from an empty vessel right you have to replenish yourself so that you can give to others and if people were not giving back to you then that doesn't serve you you know you can only be around that so long you're totally depleted and you're eventually going to get really tired of that behavior of always giving and not receiving anything back and you're going to be like I can't do this anymore you know you do nothing for me except take advantage of me and deplete and drain me and you can't have people like that around you and unfortunately there's so much of it you know people love to to receive but they're not as good as at giving back you know and then then once you do it all the time they just expect it and then when you pull away and you don't keep continuing that then they look at you like you're a bad guy or something and you know, like, are you serious? But it's how they, it's how they see it. And it's easy to be taken advantage of in that way. Especially, you know, if you are a giver, if you are a healer, if you are an empath, if you have these star being in, you know, traits about you, people just, they want to be in your energy and they'll drain you dry. So, and it's definitely going to affect your solar plexus chakra here. So, you are going to have to walk away from things like this and if they think that you're abandoning them then you know that's what they're going to have to think you have to do what's best for you and you know it could even be like some escapism that was going on you've just absolutely reached your limit you've created a self-analysis and self-discovery you're doing your introspection and you've been looking deeper within yourself and you know you could have had some disappointments in yourself and with others and you've you've been in a state of withdrawal so you know that way you could heal yourself and you know you're resilient 
and you have you're this wounded warrior right here and you know that's Sagittarius energy you've just been dealing with ongoing battles you're battle weary and you're fatigued and that's exactly what this Queen of Swords is right here drained of energy you're nearly there close to success courage persistence perseverance your backbone is intact and it's strong learning from past failure and you've gathered your strength back you know you've had to gather your strength back and you've had to walk away from those things which are no longer serving your highest good or your higher self and the highest good for all so you know and and that's not selfish that's selfless <laughs> so you know a lot of people want to get those two confused because they may not agree with that but that's exactly the truth and that's what it is you can't be mad at someone for taking care of themselves and making their their health and well-being a top priority in their life so you know and if people don't agree with that then they then they're not your people they just you've got a eight of cups and walk away period what's pluto spirit what's pluto <clears throat> yeah <laughs> okay come through spirits what i'm talking about you know so you're transmuting all this energy out here the need for control and the obsession with your energy it's a power struggle you know and you know they like your energy and how you can manifest things you're a powerful manifester and co-creator with the divine it's like a do or die you must do this or you know it's my way or the highway kind of bullshit you've got to get to the heart of the matter you've got to resurrect yourself you know and this could be Taurus or this is Taurus energy and this is your heart chakra here you know so you've got a huge heart you know you're you're very giving you know and you give gifts you're full of generosity and charity you, you know donations and money community assistance support and this can be employment so you know maybe you're going to get a raise at work and more money coming in you are always sharing your kindness and wealth and prosperity and your power with others you you know you hold a, a state of authority in and of yourself and of your being in this beautiful earth angel star seed energy here and you know you have control over this and you know you know could even be investors on the scene that want to invest in you you know that can be helping you start this new venture that you're wanting to go on here and you know everything that you're trying to manifest and create here with this magician energy because you have all the tools with all of the elements right here at your disposal and and it's bringing in creativity it's your action and power and your manifestation you're very skilled you're using you know magic to help manifest in and your prayers and they're working you know you could be manifesting self-employment you could be an entrepreneur uh, you're a smooth talker. You've got the gift of gab. You know, you're very good at building people up and, you know, people always come to you for advice and you never meet a stranger. And before you know it, somebody walks up on you, you never met and then no time you know their life story, you know, because they just feel safe in your energy. They feel a gentleness with this star energy here. They feel safe to be in your presence and they, they know that just being near you, whether they realize it or not, they're being healed just being around you. And so that does, it drains and pulls your energy out. That's why I always wear my Labradorite to help protect my aura and shield that, you know. So that way I'm not constantly depleted out from people to just walk by me from miles and miles away. But um, <clears throat> you, you've got a lot of willpower and you're been directing your will to help create the visualizations and the desires that you're trying to manifest and Pluto is helping to bring this in for you okay because Pluto is going to dismantle any corruption or crap that's like not good like the most vile crap ever that could be coming against you it's going to dismantle all of that and take all of that out to where it's not affecting your growth here and you know it's divine karmic justice right here for anything that could have been stolen or taken away from you the divine is ushering in that you're going to have this ace of pentacles and new love you know and this ace of pentacles here could even be like a career partner you know maybe you could be going into into business with someone 
Um, so, but you've got a lot of integrity, and that's, you know, that's a good thing. So, with this uh, 10th house here, that's Capricorn, that's the house of fellowship, and it's, uh, you know, it's your career path. It's where you're going in life. It's your destiny. And that's this North Node energy here. You have been dealing with a lot of responsibility and you're very responsible. And it's going to create success for you because you are responsible. You're becoming a person of power and statute. And, you know, with this Two of Swords here, this is Libra energy. You've got a decision to make, you know. And then back here, I mean, she's got a blindfold on here and she's not really fully aware of everything that's going on behind the scenes and she's sitting here you know not worrying about what's back there she didn't give a fuck what's back there she walked away from that crap it's her decision and her decision alone and you know stalemate truce you're sitting on the fence about something you're at a crossroads in your life and it's a difficult decision that you could be making right now and it could be a painful choice that's ahead it's a stressful decision. There could be some opposition to this, but you're facing fears and you're being torn between two relationships or two, you know, uh, if you're moving on two locations, but it's like it could create a divided loyalty. But with the throat chakra again here, we've got a lot of communication. You need to speak your truth and speak up for yourself. Okay. And it doesn't matter what everyone else wants for you. It ultimately matters what you want for you. Because look, we've got the ace of wands in the world here. You know, you could be a public speaker here. I'm telling you, you could travel the world. And with this whole new... Um, this whole new opportunity and new beginning that's coming in, it's going to be really good news. And I mean, you're physically starting something new that, that is part of your creativity. It's a spark. It's a passion in you. It's so ignited right now. And you've got a whole new passion, a whole new initiative, all this enthusiasm. And there's almost like a state of urgency to get this going. You're excited about it. You're up for the challenge. You accept the challenge. The, you're full of potential. Your talent and your growth has been profound. And the world is going to know about it. And the world is going to know your name. So, you know, that's, I mean, you're a star. You're going to be a star around the world. And people are going to know who you are. And they're going to admire you. It's going to be beautiful. And the world here is the root chakra, too. So, you know, with this magician energy, You've transmuted this energy and you have grounded your energy and you have manifested this straight from the 5D onto the 3D. You've manifested it to where you've got a whole new world ahead of you. And it's full of success and achievement, accomplishment. You're going to travel, completion, fulfillment, a sense of belonging and wholeness. So, I mean, you can't get much better than that. I mean, God, guys, that's amazing. And... You're really a, a powerful co-creator with the universe here, guys. That is that is beautiful energy. All right. Let's clarify Pisces. Spirituality to ultimately experience. Trusting your psychic knowledge. Resulting from the indecision of or about these burdens that you've been undergoing. Okay. That you've been having to deal with. You've. That's Sagittarius, and that's also the root chakra. So maybe it's been really hard for you on the earth plane right now. Maybe you've been struggling with a lot of strife. Could be, you know, some five of pinnacle energies. Your finances look like they're getting ready to improve. Um, you've been overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities and stress and a lot of problems that have just put a lot of weight on your shoulders. There's been a lot of duties and obligations that have made you feel restricted and burnt out. It's just like an uphill battle that you just kind of felt like you weren't ever going to win and you were taken for granted. You know, I mean, you've been taken for granted. And, you know, you're going to be a part of something overwhelming and your dreams and, and desires are idealizing right now and you have karmic justice playing out so the scales are being balanced here with this will of fortune that's turning in your favor and jupiter is ushering think of jupiter as santa claus that's how my astrology teacher used to always explain 
Jupiter to me. It's like Santa Claus brings in all kinds of good things, and that's Jupiter. I'm like, ooh, I love Jupiter. And this is Libra energy again here. So, uh, but that justice is karmic justice, consequences. I get what I give. Could be some legal disputes, law, truth, honesty, integrity, cause and effect, and you've been learning life life lessons and you know you're walking away from you know betrayal deceit lies trickery you know cheating theft underhanded and scheming type behavior dangerous or risky behavior enemies that could have been masquerading as your friends from people that were spying on you they have a lack of conscience and you know they were strategic and it can be resourcefulness as well, or they were being strategic on taking your resources. But you know what? You're making a break for it, and you're getting out of dodge. So you know, and it's kind of you know they can't have this new blessing that the universe is ushering in for you. You know, you you've got to walk away from karmic people in your life because these blessings don't belong to them. They belong to you, and the divine is going to remove people from your life that are not allowed to be there with you. So on the bottom of the deck over here, we've got the twelfth house, and uh, <clears throat> see, that's Pisces, and that's privacy. So don't share all your plans with everyone, so that way they can't be destroyed and completely torn down. And this can be hidden tendencies regarding your faith, your you know your ideas of what you're trying to create. There's going to be large institutions or overwhelming events that are taking place. You're seeking oneness with all there is. So you've gone in. You're working with your spirit guides and the divine. Philanthropy. Keep your involvement hidden. Okay. It's on the overall energy of the bottom of the deck here. Okay. And with this Ace of Pentacles, you've got potential for abundance. This is your crown chakra and it's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It's a financial new beginning, new financial. I'm itching. You know what happens when I start itching, guys. It was exactly 37 minutes on the clock. So that's 10. So that's an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, which is right back to magician energy here of what you're manifesting. Financial new beginning, new financial opportunities, a new job, a new business, money's coming in, and investments and savings, a lot of prosperity and security and stability and abundance are manifesting in your life right now. I mean, you just can't get any better than that. And love, new love is coming in. And, you know, this is a new loving connection, a new partnership where, you know, you're going to communicate truthfully. You're going to have effective communication and this is Pisces energy here. Um, I'm sorry, cancer energy. <clears throat> so it's partnership, unity, love, compatibility, happy couples, potential soulmates, relationships, harmony, balance. You're going to have equality. There's attraction and a really good connection. You could have proposals and engagements in marriage as well. So, you know, and that's what this beautiful solitude and going within and doing this inner healing work has done for you. It's it's ushered this in from the divine and, and you're getting ready to be blessed with with some new things from the universe here. So, you know, that beautiful energy. All right. So let's see here. From here, what do, we, what do we need to know from this deck? Indulgence. You're going to be celebrating, interacting with new people. You're going to be friendly, making new friends. You're going to have a lot of joy. Could be buying a new house. You know, you're going to be celebrating. You know, in your family. You know, you're going to have a happy family here. It's bond, home, and background. So, you know, could be getting a new car, a new house, you know. And <laughs> goodness, guys, this is great. And, you know, these people from your past, you know, they're, they're going to feel like, oh, my God, what have I done with, with not having the collective in my life? I should have been better and not caused this natural disaster in their life, you know. But you could have been the one that was in this nightmare and you were suffering in darkness and you were feeling persecuted. 
in this natural disaster is risk or risk frustration and survive so whatever this was that you've been going through in this south node karmic energy that has brought you straight into your north node you've survived this you're you're strong as hell you know and you've been learning you could have had you know even a life coach you could become a life coach you, you know it's advice obedience and knowledge so you know and and you've been working with the divine the divine has been coaching you so you know it's bringing in this beautiful positive energy here that's on my table gosh it ain't getting better than that guys that's fantastic so that's wonderful thank you spirit what a good reading guys this is so good I'm so happy for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Wonderful energy. It's so exciting. I'm so happy. Yay. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realm of your truth is opening up. So look at this. It's like Falcor, your luck dragon. Oh boy, wouldn't it be fun to ride around on Falcor? I want one. I want one so bad. So that's 26, which is 8. So that's strength. You are so strong. You're powerful. You don't give yourself enough credit. You don't realize how strong you are. And then follow the path of your soul. Do not allow anyone or anything to stop you. And that's 2, which is high priestess energy. So, you know, your your intuition is going to guide you exactly where you need to go. And then leave your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions is on the bottom of the deck. And that's nine here with hermit energy. So, you know, and with these foxes here, you could have to kind of sneak away and be sneaky like a fox. And, you know, that can also be here what the Seven of Swords energy is. You know, you need to not fully, you know, reveal everything, every step of what's going on behind the scenes. You just need to get your life in order and you move in the direction that you want to go. And then you you just go into that direction and don't worry about what everyone else thinks. It's your life to live how you want. Period. Period. Uh, Let's see what the angels have to say. Beautiful souls, you inspire and uplift others. Yeah, you're a beautiful soul. I, you know, you think you very much could be a motivational speaker. You inspire other people. And this is perfect timing at hand here. Divine timing ordained by the angels. It's never too late or too early. So don't think, oh, I'm too old for this or it's taking too long. It's never going to. No, you're working in divine timing. You've had to balance out karma to have the life lessons that you've needed in order to get you to where you are now. And without those life lessons to be getting out of this south node energy that's what we incarnated on earth for it's why we're here earth is a school all it is is learning lessons constantly for our soul growth and that's what we're here to do and when you balance out your karma and you walk into this north node energy you're walking straight into your divine life purpose that's what you're here to do and the angel of wisdom pursue knowledge and spiritual growth oh my goodness go do spirit Yes. Uh, and these are like your Akashic Records right here. This is your book of life. So that's fantastic. And responsibility. Take responsibility for your own happiness, which is exactly what I was saying. And she's walking on the beach and she's walking away. You know, she could be looking back, saying bye, and looking at what she's leaving behind, but she's still moving forward. It's not stopping her. She's going to follow her direction and her path that, you know, she is divinely guided to go upon. So, intentions. Intention is the creative power that fulfills our dreams. As your will, so is your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're following your guidance in your life path here. And your intentions here with this magician energy. It's so beautiful. 
Yeah. Retreat. And that's exactly what you've been doing here with this Four of Swords and this Hermit energy. You went into a state of solitude. Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude, and contemplation. So go within and meditate. Listen to your intuition. Make sure that your chakras are not blocked. And, you know, you're making good merit with the divine. And they're going to help you on this journey. Goodness. That's beautiful energy, guys. What a great reading this is. Let's look right here. And I think that we're going to close out. Spirit wants me to draw from here. All right. Unbound, you're releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yes, exactly what's going on. Yeah, so see, you're balancing out these soul contracts that you had to go through. The initiation, you're going through a rite of passage and you're crossing the threshold. So, you're leveling up, collective. You're leveling up. You've got a whole new, beautiful stage of your soul growth coming into this north node energy and the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes yeah you've walked into your life purpose and you're on a double mission you're channeling and uplifting humanity i told you it's this throat chakra energy right here it's exactly what you're doing it's exactly what you're doing thank you spirit all right, do we need anything else? Pull from here. The presence of love will always cast out fear. And love is the highest vibrational frequency that there is. So when you operate in that state, you're going to be a whole lot. The manifestation is going to come forward a lot easier. If you're operating from a state of fear, that's going to block your root chakra. So, you know, you've got to make sure that you're operating from a healthy state of love and gratitude to you know, be a co-creator with the divine. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Yes. It's exactly what I was just saying. It's why you're on the earth right now. And only the bravest of the brave can incarnate down here. And there's a lot of souls that want to be down here to try and level up and balance out their karma. And, you know, there's a lot of Energies that will jump in, you know, especially in like death experiences, near death experiences, things like that. So, so that way that they can still use the body and you can keep going. So the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Yeah. When you put an expectation on something, all that does is create limitation and then you get in your own way and then spirit can't bless you because you're just fixated that this is how it's supposed to be and this is when it's supposed to be. That's not how divine timing works. That's not how spirit works. You've got to have the imagination of like a child and just you can think about what you want, but don't put an expectation on how it's going to come in because it's just gonna, it's gonna create a limitation. And that way you definitely know, especially if you're doubting your intuition, you've got to step out of the way. You've got to be an observer over your life, 48, 48, exactly on the clock when I said that, to where you're manifesting in a way that is definitely allowing you to be open <laughs> to what you are willing to receive and what you're wanting to receive. Okay. In any moment, I can surrender the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. Come through, spirit. My goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Yes. 
And that's what happens when you work with the collective consciousness and you focus on service. So, and that's what you're doing. My fearless freedom lights up the world. You're a huge, bold light. You're a light worker. You're a star being. And it's exactly what you're here to do. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Yes, definitely. See it. Feel it in your heart like you already have it. But release the expectation of how it's going to come into you. Just see it as though it's already there. That's what you need to do. Okay? How it's delivered to you is up to the divine. Okay? And that's where we can get in our own ways. Because we can get in our own ways by trying to make it happen ourselves. But you do have to, to an extent. But there's also a way with the law of attraction and how the universal laws work. You have to step back and you have to let go and you have to surrender and you have to let go. All right? Okay, got it. <laughs> this is a good reading. Oh, man, I'm so excited. All right, let's see if Spirit wants me to pull anything out. I'm not feeling drawn to anything else. So I guess that this is going to be our reading. I am so happy for you guys. This is really good energy on my table right now. This is a breath of fresh air from all the craziness that's usually coming out when I channel. So this makes me exhilarated. And I hope that it makes you guys exhilarated because this is fantastic. Okay. All right, Collective. I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of your soul growth. I'm so proud of how you're leveling up and doing your inner healing work and doing what you need to do to get there. And I love each and every one of you. I thank you all for being here with me. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night, whatever time it is in the world where you're seeing this and when you're seeing this. Until next time, guys. I'll talk to you soon and come back with another one. I love you, Collective. Bye.